good morning children i hope you are all doing very well welcome to bridge course online class under the administration of our respected district deo mr ravikant rao sir the department of school education samagra shiksha siddipet district has decided to adapt to the bridging activities across the district to achieve minimum competencies among the children before using their textbooks for all classes i am p bhagavan sa english working at jdphs toguta i want to present you how to construct description one of the major discourses by studying a whole picture which has scope for writing the description before showing a picture i will let you to know the objectives of bridging activities the first objective is creating an english environment by overcoming the inhibitions among the children second one to encourage the children to express their opinions freely in their own english by studying the picture you can express your opinions freely in your own english the third one to achieve minimum academic standards as the children develop conversations descriptions story or narrative orally and in written form which help them to use of the textbook effectively the fourth one to develop classroom interaction based on pictures without using textual passages and other material by end of this activity you could produce your own description studying the picture now let us come to strategies for bridging activities the first one select three different pictures with a lot of scope for interaction use one picture for the whole class activity another picture for group activity and third picture for individual activity the three pictures should have scope for generating description conversation and narrative or story and now the third strategy use the pictures to develop the oral and written discourses at each stage description conversation and story or narrative dear children i will show you a picture which has a lot of scope for writing a description look at the picture thoroughly and study each and everything in it and try to get your own ideas about the picture before writing the description of the picture i will let you know the features of description the features are the indicators of the descriptions discourse the first feature is description of objects things or person you have to describe the objects the things the persons in the picture next one creating vivid images you have to create vivid images in your mind and get your own ideas about the picture next variety of sentence forms you have to write the variety of sentence forms different sentence forms you have to use the next indicator is proper sequence of the ideas the ideas you get in your mind they should be in proper way if you uh, you put them into proper way and the next one personal reflections on the event or person your own reflections you have to write and you have to use appropriate cohesive devices the related devices the related ideas to the picture you have to use now these are all the indicators or features of the discourse description now you 
look at the picture thoroughly i will put you some interactive questions for writing the description the first question what is the place you see in the picture and i hope you are all well aware of that place and you may have experienced the place and the next question what things do you see in the picture the third one who are the people you see in the picture the fourth what are they doing what are the people doing in the picture and the last where is the cartman going dear children i hope you have observed the picture very keenly and also you have got in your mind that some of the things and the persons and the places now now i will present you some of the places things and the persons the places and things are temple water tank tall tree big tree the places primary school rachabanda kacha houses rcc buildings loaded bullock cart Big cart man for writing your own description you have to take your long notebook and you have to draw three columns on a page horizontally in the first column you have to write the words the words related to persons places and things and in the third column on the right side of your third column you have to write action words ongoing actions look at the picture looking at the pictures what are the actions are going on you have to write the action words in the third column in the first column you have to write the words the persons places and the things dear children now you look at the picture once again and in the first column you have to write a word a boy is there a boy a woman those are persons and grass bundle it is a thing and school it is a place in the third column going carrying playing like that now in the middle column you have to write complete sentences using these two columns information now i will present you some of the sentences a boy is going to school another boy is playing in the picture and a woman is carrying grass bundle home these are some of the example sentences how to frame the sentences using the persons places things and ongoing actions dear children i have given an example sentences of three sentences by asking you to write the columns three make three columns and write words in first column and second column sentences and the third in the action words the based on this by observing this and also you have to write some of other actions ongoing actions in your own sentences by looking at the picture each and every picture keenly and getting the actions and the other places in the picture before writing framing sentences you have to put the questions interactive questions about yourself only and to get more ideas to write the sentences now i present you each and every person picture and what is he doing in full sentence i hope i think you have all written like this only please observe keenly and in each and every picture you should note down the persons things and action words i will read out 
the full sentences only in the middle of the street of the village two men are there an old man is reading newspaper another old man is listening to the news a man is smoking a cigarette a man is sitting under a tree you can write here two sentences a woman is selling vegetables a man is buying vegetables a boy is playing with a wooden wheeler object a farmer is taking his car in his cart to the market a woman is carrying the grass bundle home the children are going to school a father is taking his son to school carrying him on his shoulders and his school bag in his hand a father is taking his son to school on his bicycle a man is leading his cattle to the fields two women are taking drinking water home a woman is drying muggulu in front of her house dear children after writing the words related to persons places and things in the first column and in the third column the action words that means ongoing actions in the picture and based on those two columns words writing all the related sentences in the middle column in your full sentences now you should take a fresh page and start writing a short description about the picture you could use the sentences explained previously you may begin the description like this this is a picture of a street in a village it is very pleasant there is a temple in the street in the middle of the street there is rachabanda under a big tree the people are busy with their works the time of the day is morning the children are going to school now you continue the description and complete it and after the completion of your description you can put the title like the busy street of a village or any another one you think the better title and now dear children it is time for your home assignment now i will show you a picture titled in the park you study the picture observe it keenly and each and everything the persons places and things and the all the actions and get your own ideas and after studying the picture you 
how to answer the questions false answer true or false is and answer the questions after doing the home assignment you could get it corrected by your subject teacher by sending the answers in the same manner you collect your own pictures which have scope for writing discourses like description conversation and the story or narrative now it is time to conclude the lesson thank you everybody